One of the cool things about MorphWiz is that we give you the ability to record some ideas and have some fun in that way. Notice this large red button. That is the record button. If you press it, it illuminates in a bright red glow. Now it's waiting basically at the first beat of the first measure. This little uh, gray bar here shows you your beats and measures. So as soon as I press the first note, we'll be underway. It'll start recording. Here we go. Okay, now I just let that loop. I'm going to come out of record, and I'm going to switch patches to this one. Notice my graphics changed. Everything is cool. Now I can put it back in record and get ready to play my next track. If I screw up, I can hit that undo button. I hope I won't. Two, three, four. Mm. Ah, nice. Okay, so now I got that. We can turn the metronome off. Maybe go to another sound and fill it in a little bit. A little space version of Pull Me Under. That's pretty nice. So, one of the nice things is we can be switching through patches, and for the most part, it doesn't really interrupt the sound at all. Oh, there it did a little something. Sometimes the synthesis gets pretty intense, so it has to have a little moment where, it, where it'll, you know, stop. But in general, it doesn't interfere with your recording. So we can come out of record. So now you have this lovely recording. Now one of the fun things you can actually do is now that it's playing, let's bring the uh, counter back to the beginning. You can simply drag or you can tap anywhere along the way here. And what would it sound like if we played this backwards? Aha, what's this arrow key do? Now let's hear it. Pull me under backwards, what a concept. Let's put it forwards again. And we can always record on top of it again. So, and now that all that is done, we can go into the record page and use this handy dandy little thing. Change tempo. And check this out. JR Wisdom is turned on. Wow. What does that do? Well, we can take the tempo and maybe slow it down a bit. And it tells you that, well, your previous length, your new length, your pitch shift, and your new scale root. Wow. So if I hit OK and hit play, wow, it changed the whole thing down to a new key. And what's really cool, what's really cool about that is the JR Wisdom basically figures out what um, your scale now should be. So it automatically adjusts the scale that's on the playing surface to match your new key kind of trippy, but that's what it's all about. All right, folks. See you. On the road.